You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about FS1's Shannon Sharp. Now, this week, Super Bowl is in a couple of days, and this whole NFL diversity thing, black head coaches thing, has greatly overshadowed the Super Bowl. I can't think of a time when the Super Bowl actually was taking a bat seat to the other stuff that's actually going on in the NFL. Now, you guys already know what the Brian Flores thing and uh, the media is going after the NFL, you know, for a lack of black coaches. Well, Shannon Sharp is now weighed in on this and he actually caught up with uh, TMZ and he had some words for Roger Goodell and the NFL. Check it out. Shannon Sharp demanding NFL owners change hiring process. Don't let it be a sham. Now, I 1000 percent agree with Shannon Sharp. They do need to change the hiring process. How should they do that? Get rid of the Rooney rule. The Rooney rule does not work. It will never work because when you have race based hiring practices, it is doomed to fail it's just that simple. If they get rid of this rule, folks, I do believe that other people will actually get more opportunities. I truly do believe that, folks. Now, I don't believe that these owners are racist. I don't believe that for one second. But we know how the media is. They're playing the race card. They are. Now, let's go ahead. Let's listen to what uh, Shannon Sharp had to say about the NFL and their hiring process when it comes to Black head coaches. Notice I didn't say minority head coaches, black head coaches. Let's roll it. Today, we're doing a big celebration. Congratulations yes. on the cognac. Mm -hmm. I got to start with that. But this is huge what's happening in the NFL right now. Roger Goodell comes out and he's making some, some statements, but people are skeptical if, if it means anything because it's been a long time since anything's happened. Change behavior. Let's see some hiring. Let's see some. Let's see some hiring some general managers. Let's see some hiring the black coaches. Let's see some front office people, not only on the teams but also in the NFL office, and then we can have this conversation again in a year or two. Or but right now, we, we, just, yeah. we've heard this before. We've heard this before. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not pleased with the diversity hiring and yada yada yeah. yada, and it's the same thing. What, what, what message do you have to, to get down? Look, I, like, what's I, the proportion? What it, do you think the right proportion is? Like, you know what? I'm glad he asked that question right there. He asks, what is the proportion? How many black coaches are actually needed to make a difference? And you're going to listen to Shannon Sharp's answer here. And he really doesn't have an answer. OK, with this league, just don't make it a sham. Sincerely, when you bring the guys in, give them a fair opportunity because you get to hide behind. Well, you know what? I just hired the best guy for the job. And it seems to me that it seems they only think that X amount of guys are the best guys for the job. You see, Shannon Sharp didn't have an answer about the proportion. Nobody does. Nobody has an answer on the proportion of black NFL head coaches. Now, there was eight positions this offseason. Two of them are filled by minority coaches. Uh, Mike McDaniel, who is part black, and also Lovey Smith, who is black. So that is 25 percent of the coaches that are hired are quote unquote black. Well, this is what people were saying, like statistically, well, it's like the 70 in the 70, 70, 71 percent. OK, so if you're at 71 percent, what would let's just let's just get real with it. What would feel like the proper? Well, I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there if, if you have if out of 30 out of 13 there... out of 32 teams, you need 14 blacks. I just guys just want a fair opportunity. Nobody wants to get hired because they're black. But what we know right now that we're getting, not getting the same opportunities of the counterparts that go in there. Guys, that, I mean, they got a high school assistant. They got an opportunity to interview for a head coaching job. Name the, the black high school assistant that can interview for a head coaching job in the NFL. Name me one. It ain't happening. Which one can resign from a job the day, the day he gets the job? He's supposed to show up and say, hey, I'm, congratulations, I'm happy to be here and go get another job. Yeah. Josh McDaniel, and he got caught cheating, and he got a job. Hey, well look man, hopefully this changes. All right, so there you have it guys. Shannon Sharp 
weighing in on what the NFL should be doing. Now, to me, get rid of the Rooney Rule. That's what they need to do right there, first and foremost. And nobody has really been able to answer what proportion of black head coaches should be in the NFL. And Shannon Sharp did make a good point here. He says that nobody wants to be hired because they're black. And I agree with that. I've said it before many times, guys, that I do not want to get a job knowing that I got the job because of my skin color. I wouldn't accept the job. I really would not accept the job where I found out I got it simply because I had checked off a box of skin color. Don't like that whatsoever. Now, guys, this is what I really think is going to happen. And I've talked about this a little bit on live stream. I believe that the NFL and Roger Goodell has said he's open to getting rid of the Rooney rule. They're going to have something that's worse than the Rooney rule. I believe they're going to have something under the table, a diversity quota quota when it comes to uh, hiring NFL head coaches. So let's say there's eight positions just like there uh, was right now. I believe that Roger Goodell and the NFL owners, they'll never come out and say this. They'll never come out and say this. That if there's eight owners, you're going to need to have five of them to be black. Now, they can't come out and say that because. Race based hiring practices are illegal. It's illegal. That's why they have the Rooney rule where it just says you only have to interview. You don't have to hire. You have to interview. So they step short. They stop short of uh, actually saying you must hire based on skin color because that would clearly violate the 1964 Civil Rights Act. But under the table, without coming out publicly, we're looking at race based hiring in the NFL. We are. Now, if you guys think I'm I'm wrong about that, let me know that in the comments below. But I think I'm right on the money with this. Because if you look at both sides here. I believe that the best person for the job should get the job. But the media, I believe, is really going to pressure. These owners to hire based off of race. And it wouldn't surprise me if this happens, you know, look at the way they're doing our public schools right now. It's a lot of race based stuff in there, and I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit whatsoever. We saw with Project Veritas uncovered with ESPN. That stuff happens. So I wouldn't be surprised if the NFL, in order to save face with the woke sports media, implements race-based hiring. Because that's what it seems like they really want at the end of the day. Even though Shannon Sharp said nobody wants to be hired because they're black. Maybe the owners, the NFL, won't tell the candidate that they got the job. I believe they're going to end up having this, guys, and I don't like it one bit. I really don't. The best person for the job should get the job. But, man, you have to get rid of the Rooney rule. You have to do it. Just let the diversity come naturally. Naturally. I mean, there was a time, guys, when you didn't have black people in the NFL. What happened over time? The best people. At the positions, got in the NFL. And for the most part, they just so happen to be black. Nobody's calling for NFL players. You know, hey, we need more diversity in NFL players. Nobody's calling for more uh, Indians to uh, be in the NFL. Nobody's calling for more Latinos to be in the NFL. It's always a problem when it comes to black coaches or black players. If, if the NFL was 70% white and only 10% black, there would be outrage. But the overwhelming majority of uh, players are black. So it's not a problem. The coaching ranks, I guess they wanted to be the same way. But the NFL got the way it was because of it just evolved to where they just started taking the best players. And it just so happened that the best players, for the most part, were mostly black. Mostly black and nobody's complaining about that. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, do you guys agree with Shannon Sharp 
coming out ripping the NFL. He demands a change in the hiring process and he doesn't want it to be a sham. But unfortunately, if the Walt Sports Media gets their way, the whole thing will continue to be a sham. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.